丑小鸭。好耐之前，喺一个乡村里面，有一个被绿草围绕住嘅湖。夏天，黄澄澄嘅小麦，蓝蓝嘅天空，睇上去真系好靓啊！喺芦苇丛下，鸭妈妈正喺度孵紧鸭仔。鸭巢就系用芦苇干同埋干草所造成，而且正好喺阳光照到嘅地方添。有一日，有一个蛋裂开啦，鸭妈妈好开心咁睇到佢第一只鸭宝宝从蛋壳里面出嚟。咁靓嘅鸭宝宝，咁柔软，仲冇用用嘅添。然后一个接一个，每一只鸭宝宝都破壳而出，嚟到咗呢个世界啦。佢哋都大声叫喊。但系仲有一个又大又奇特嘅蛋，仲未孵出嚟。鸭妈妈坐咗喺度咁耐，好攰啦。但系佢并冇放弃到最后一个蛋。最后呢一只巨大嘅蛋终于裂开啦，一只鸭宝宝破壳而出。鸭妈妈睇住佢，佢好惊讶咁话：，哦，咁大嘅鸭宝宝！系佢灰色嘅毛同嗰对小眼睛，其他宝贝冇一个同佢相似。呢一只年龄最细嘅鸭仔又大又丑，鸭妈妈怀疑佢唔系鸭仔啊，于是乎就想考下佢。到咗第二日，鸭妈妈带住所有嘅鸭宝宝嚟到河边，就对佢哋话：孩子们，跟我嚟。等我哋一齐去入水，所有嘅鸭仔都跟住妈妈跳咗入水里面，其中亦都包括嗰只丑小鸭啊！佢哋都游得好好。呢一次，鸭妈妈咧完全相信佢哋全部都系自己嘅孩子。然后鸭妈妈就带住鸭宝宝嚟到农家嘅庭园。当我哋嚟到呢度嘅时候。人哋屋企嘅鸭仔咧，都望住呢个丑小鸭喎。其中一只鸭仔仲话：，除咗嗰只又大又丑样嘅鸭仔，佢哋睇起嚟都好可爱。另外一只鸭仔又向住呢个丑小鸭度嗌咯喎：，快啲行开啊！你又乖又难睇。然后佢就飞起嚟咬丑小鸭条颈喎。鸭妈妈好快就赶到嚟保护丑小鸭。唔好掂佢，佢唔会伤害你哋噶。鸭妈妈就话俾其他嘅鸭听，丑小鸭同其他嘅鸭系一样，亦都能够游水。但系其他所有嘅鸭对丑小鸭仍然唔系好友善。于是乎，鸭妈妈就带住佢嘅鸭宝宝翻屋企啦。无论佢哋去到边度。其他嘅鸭都会议论丑小鸭、咬丑小鸭或者系啄丑小鸭，可怜嘅丑小鸭，佢真系好难过啊！日子一日一日咁过去，但系情况就越嚟越差啦，甚至连丑小鸭嘅兄弟姊妹都唔中意佢啊！佢哋仲话：如果猫将你捉咗去就好啦。佢嘅妈妈就讲。如果唔生你落嚟就好啦。所有个鸭一见到丑小鸭都会笑佢、欺负佢、啄佢。丑小鸭非常之难过，佢成日都暗暗咁谂：点解我同其他嘅鸭仔唔一样嘅？有一日，丑小鸭决定离开呢一个令佢唔开心嘅地方。佢飞过栏杆。喺乡村里面到处游荡，几个月嚟佢一直好孤独，佢逃避所有嘅人，亦都唔希望其他人见到佢。不知不觉，春天嚟啦！有一日，佢嚟到咗花园，朝早嘅天气实在好好啊！佢向花园里面嘅池塘走过去，周围冇一个人啦。呢度有漂亮嘅花草树木，有清新嘅空气。
水系真系好清噶，系能够喺里面睇到任何一个景物嘅倒影。忽然间，三只白天鹅游过灌木丛，佢哋又大又白又漂亮。丑小鸭好开心见到呢啲白天鹅，亦都好妒忌佢哋。佢哋好靓啊！如果我可以同佢哋一齐就好啦。然后白天鹅就向丑小鸭游过嚟喎，丑小鸭佢好担心啊！我睇落去又古怪又丑样，佢哋会唔会唔中意我呢？就系呢个时候，佢睇到自己水中嘅倒影，佢发现自己睇上去同嗰啲漂亮嘅白天鹅系一样嘅。佢嘅羽毛系几咁强壮有力，又几咁柔软，佢全身变成咗白色。仲有一条好长嘅颈，原来由始至终佢都系一只天鹅，而并唔系一只鸭仔。就喺呢个时候，佢真正认识到自己，亦都拥有咗自己真正嘅家。而家嗰啲白天鹅向佢游过嚟，围绕住佢，而且仲用佢哋嘅嘴轻轻咁样啄下佢。呢、這个时候。所有嘅细佬哥都已经嚟到花园啦。当佢哋见到丑小鸭嘅时候，就大声嗌啦：，睇下，又有一只新嘅白天鹅。其中一个细佬哥仲大声嗌：，呢只新嚟嘅白天鹅系其中最靓噶。当佢系一只丑小鸭嘅时候，花母都冇谂到会好似而家咁幸福噶。The Ugly Duckling. Long ago, in the countryside, there was a lake that was surrounded by grassland. In the summer, the cornfields were yellow, and the sky was blue. Under the giant reeds, a mother duck was hatching her eggs. The nest was open. And made of reed stems and dried grasses. One day, an egg cracked, and Mother Duck was delighted to see her first baby duck come out of the shell. Oh, what a beautiful baby! So soft and so fluffy. Then, one by one. Each baby duck wrapped on its shell to come out into the world. 
all of them cried out, Cheek, cheek! But there was one large, strange egg that did not hatch. Mother Duck was tired after sitting down so long, but she did not give up on the last egg. At last, the huge egg cracked open and a baby duck came out of its shell. The mother duck was horrified when she looked at it. Oh, what a big duckling! See its grey down and tiny eyes. None of the others look like him. The youngest duck was large and ugly. The mother was worried that it might not be a duckling, so she wanted to test it out. The next day, Mother Duck brought all the ducklings to the water. She said to them, Come with me, children. Let's go for a swim. All the little ones followed her and jumped into the water, including the ugly duckling. They all swam beautifully. By seeing that, Mother Duck believed that they were all her children. Then Mother Duck took the ducklings to the farmyard. When they arrived, all the other ducks stared at the ugly duckling. One duck said, They all look so lovely, except the one who is big and ugly. Another duck shouted at the ugly duckling, Go away, you strange and ugly one! Then he flew up and bit the ugly duckling in the neck. Quickly, the mother duck protected the ugly duckling. Leave him alone. He will do you no harm. Mother duck told the other ducks that the ugly duckling could swim just like the other ducklings. However, all the other ducks were still unfriendly to the ugly duckling. So the mother took her ducklings home. Wherever they went, the other ducks would hiss, bite or peck the ugly duckling. The poor ugly duckling was very unhappy. As the days went by, things got worse. Even the ugly duckling's brothers and sisters disliked him. They said, If only the cat could catch you. Then his mother said, If only you were not around. All the other ducks made fun of him, pushed him about and pecked him when he got too near. The little ugly duckling was very sad and he thought, why am I different from the others? One day, the ugly duckling decided to run away from all the ill treatment. He flew over the fence and wandered around the countryside. For months, he was alone. He was avoiding everyone and hoping that nobody else would see him. Finally, he came to a garden in springtime. It was a lovely morning, and nobody was around when he walked towards the pond. There were beautiful plants around the pond, and the air was pleasantly cool. The water was so clear that it could reflect anything. Suddenly, three white swans swam out of the bushes. They were so huge, white and handsome. The ugly duckling was happy to see the swans and envied them. How beautiful they are. If only I could be with them. Then the swans swam towards the ugly duckling. The ugly duckling was worried. But will they dislike me because I look strange and ugly? Just then, he saw his reflection in the water and he discovered that he looked exactly the same as these beautiful creatures. His feathers were strong yet gentle. He had turned to white and had a long neck. All along he had been a swan and not a duckling. 
In that moment, he realized his own true self and his true family. And now the swans swam around him and touched him lightly with their beaks. Some children had come into the garden. When they saw the ugly duckling, they shouted, Look, a new swan has arrived. One child cried out, The new one is the most beautiful of all. The ugly duckling had never dreamed that he could be so happy when he had been a little ugly duck. <laughs>